So the objective was there, at least securing fourth and giving a run to, to their money for, for, for Aston. That was how we envisioned things uh, going to this event. Oh my. But things in life does not always go as planned. Sometimes it is quite the opposite. No, you're out. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, you are just at the right time. So basically they followed what we said uh, for the USA and for the last year. Okay. Even recover. Hello, flag. Okay, oh. Marshall. Marshall Lambro out. Green flag. What the f? Focus, focus. I can pass. Yeah, time time yeah. to work together. Okay, Lucas has damage. Lucas has damage. It's a matter of catching him next lap. You will have him. Yeah, no tires left, man. It was good that the team trusted him during the race and kept him cool. And at the end, he grabbed those points that were very important uh, for the team at the end. Perfect, good effort. What, P7? Yeah, P7, and I'm suspecting that there should be some penalties ahead. Uh, with Ido dying, uh, Barry and stuff, like there might be more on, on that end, so... At least I finished the year on points. So let's stick to that uh, to that plan, and uh, it will play in our hands. Uh, we know that Mexico can be quite hectic and stuff, so everything can happen the, in a way or the others. So, yeah, as Julien mentioned, uh, let's have some pleasure as well while racing. Okay. That traffic, man. This is so I got so much up here in the hairpin. No way! The Ferrari home Again, man. So, Mexico, um, Fab got out of Q1, which was really sad to see because I know he had the pace on all tracks. Right, that's the first banger. For information, both McLaren and uh, Petit Berretin. Honestly, that's okay. Nico delivered the P4 lap in Q3, which I was happy to see personally. Well, Mexico was pretty weird. Um, we went for the alternate strategy, thinking that it was uh, possible to overtake. Um, but as we saw in the race, nothing really happened. Um, it looked very boring from a driver's perspective. There was no really overtakes. 
lot of a uh, lot of people fighting in both drivers and team championships. Tactics were gonna be um, more to the uh, worst side of uh, racing than the clean one. We were pretty sure of the pit lane. I'm sure. I could see all the cars. I literally could see five cars ahead of me. Like fuck up, nothing to lose now. I was a pain to Marcel, <laughs> like the eagle days. <laughs> the guy could not pass. So make sure to enjoy it first. We don't need to check on the others. The results will be a consequence. If we are able to put everything together by ourselves, the consequence will be the results that we want. But the results, it's not the aim. The aim is to have the clean race, a clean qualification, and just to be confident on ourselves. Most of the time when we have been in a great position in, is when we are relaxed and in the right mood. Uh, so that's what we're aiming for, okay? We have had uh, our season so far, it's the last one, so let's, uh, let's enjoy it uh, all together, okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Will you first? I hear people going out. Oh my god, man. Where? There's some point. Some point. Some point. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, let's fucking go. Nice, uh, nice second sector, man. All right. All right. Oh my god! Oh my! 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 Oh <laughs> okay, we know the plan. Okay, make sure to load the right setup, make sure to put the correct strategy, make sure to put the right amount of fuel. And if you can launch NVIDIA as well, please. Alright. Okay, well, Marcel's trying to stay in the DRS. Yeah, push, push. Okay, Fab, you pick this lap. Fab, you pick this, this lap. lap. Yeah, yeah, you pick this lap. Ah, Daniel is now... Pit, pit, pit. Oh, he's slowing down a lot. Well, Freddy, yeah. Freddy just pitted with fresh soft. No, no, do, keep it, keep it. I'm trying, man. And the game just gave me a, like a five, five second penalty for no reason, so that was removed. Unfortunately, after some uh, appeals, um, the stewards decided to, give, decided to give me a three second penalty for uh, the way I defended against Marcel. Oh my. But what am I, what am I driving? I don't have SDRS. Don't play this game, don't play this game, Nico. Don't play it. Oh, that's Freddy. Yeah, that's Freddy, that's oh. Freddy, that's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, we're safe with Nico, we're safe with Nico. Yeah, but still, give me it. Sebi doesn't have the DRS. If I didn't have that damage? Oh my god. Yeah, you could have had a shot for the win. And well, due to this penalty, it meant that instead of finishing third and grabbing on the podium, uh, I finished seventh, uh, which means we lose, well, we don't take back fourth place in the constructors to Ferrari. I looked more behind than in front. Told you that Marcel was going to be for Ferrari? Yeah, but I, I didn't expect that Varro to be there, that's the thing. Yeah, that's, yeah. But Alvaro, everything. Alvaro, yeah, that. I never had to work so hard. So 
the overall feeling for this season, um, from a personal point of view, uh, a lot of ups and downs. Um, it started very good, like in Bahrain, um, but I don't know. I just, um, I just didn't have. I don't. There was something missing uh, in this year for me that I couldn't uh, just. Uh, Maybe just fo I just focused maybe on too much on other people and uh, maybe just put too much pressure on myself, which I kind of really figured out towards the end. So as we saw, or as I, yeah, in event three and event four during qualifying, I, I was uh, much, much better. I mean, USA pole, then Mexico P4, and then Brazil pole again. I just really had to focus on myself and just drive, like just, just do what I do best and not really focus on what others are doing or like look at the speed traps because it's all like a mental game. Uh, I feel like we could have achieved much more. We got, a, we got uh, I think, unlucky uh, many times this season. Uh, that also counts at the end of the championship. But uh, I'm happy about how the team is settled in only a year. I think it's a really strong base for future years. Uh, happy of how the things are going as well. Um, I think uh, uh, in the next year we will be even more settled, even more uh, comfortable with everything around. Um, as I said previously, pace has never been the issue. Now it's uh, it's time to put uh, to put all together. Uh, 2022 will see also massive changes that we had to anticipate. Uh, there will be new cars. Uh, the new Formula One 2022 cars also in the game. Uh, we have decided to change a little bit the formula. I will not uh, be continuing my career with Alpine in F1 Esports for next year, um, but I had a ton of fun with the guys and I wish them the best of luck for next year. I know they're working very hard and they really deserve uh, good results. Uh, it was not an easy decision, that's for sure. Nicolas has been part of uh, Alpine and Renault Group uh, for two years now. Uh, with successful uh, campaigns, victories, podiums, pole positions. So we took our time to take that decision, but all things considered, uh, following the vision that we have, we do think that this was the best decision for the team, as the goal is always the same, winning titles and winning championships. So for 2022, we will work harder than ever with the team. I'm really motivated. Uh, I want to smash everybody, uh, and I know I can be at the top and fight for the championship. The goal of uh, Alpine Esports is also to, de to develop uh, itself in, uh, in other games. Uh, now we are present in, a, in the Formula 1 game, but we also want to develop that and to be present uh, on other disciplines. And that's what we're going to do uh, for 2022 with the 24 hours virtual. With two Alpine Esports cars, with a double F1 world champion Fernando Alonso, that will be a great and fun challenge we have worked a lot during the Christmas break uh, to prepare the cars and be as ready as possible for the big race. So looking forward to it and for the F1 eSports series, see you later this year with the new team, new goals and hopefully more victories. So thank you for supporting us throughout the season. I saw a lot of Alpine uh, support in the chat. It's been a pleasure to, to have this much uh, uh, support and to know that people were behind us cheering us on. Uh, it was very motivating and uh, filled us with joy. And à l'année prochaine.